Hello folks, happy brunch once again. I I think we're now good, now if we start the stream with a slightly lower bit rate, it should be, should be just about right. But do let me know, if you're watching along, do let me know how we're looking and sounding, please. I'm just gonna give us a quick test with chat here to see um, what I can do and how it works because um, as I mentioned when I was trying to start the stream up a second ago, oh nice! Okay, I'm trying to work out how um, how I can get the uh, the various um, chats to work. Um, so if I type. Hello Twitch, in the Twitch chat, that comes up, if I type hello YouTube, in the YouTube chat, does that, that doesn't come up on screen, oh, well, well in that case, well let's, uh, hide that one. Let's. Oh no, sorry. Hide that one and show that one. Yeah, you know what? The YouTube chat is not showing up on screen for some reason. I'm not sure what I needed to do to get that to work. Um. It's going to take a bit of fiddling, isn't it? Oh well, not perfect, I must admit. But I think it'll do for now. Yeah, because really my... Um, I've got uh, Restream chat open, and that should show me, in theory, uh, chats from both sources, both uh, Twitch and YouTube, but the YouTube one isn't going anywhere else, which is confusing. Um, uh, yeah, that is confusing. Well, you know what? We'll we'll persevere. Okay, so I think I think what we've got will do for now, and I'll have to if I'd like to do a multi stream again, I will have to check out what I can do differently to try and get YouTube chat to appear on screen. That might be a an interesting challenge. But Twitch chat is definitely displaying. Okay, that's good. All right. Well, let's let's start again. Kind of. I'm not going to restart the stream again. Don't worry. Um, let's start again. In terms of um, presenting the stream. So, hello everyone. Welcome to brunch. Um, well, <laughs> happy brunch. Hello everyone, happy brunch. Uh, so this is a stream where I have some brunch, so you might hear some eating sounds, um, and also play a um, fairly chilled puzzle game. And the chilled puzzle game in the case of today's stream is going to be this one. Let me work out where I want to put my window. Here's good. It's the Fool's Errand. A, um, a classic Mac OS game from 1987. We're just booting up our mini vMac emulator here. Here we go, and we'll get straight back into it. So the Fool's Errand is here. There we go. And I can load open the stream one. 
There we go. Do you wish to save this game? The one I'm leaving? No. There we go, with the maze of hedges. So this is a, um, a really intriguing meta puzzle game. So it's a series of puzzles that interlink to solve a grander puzzle. Um, and it's all tied together by a, um, a narrative um, themed along um, the uh, arcana of tarot. And for brunch, I have... Um, I, I was conscious that at the last couple of brunches I'd done, I just had baked goods. So this time I have fruit. I've got a mango, which um, I was kind of surprised by. It, it is um, it is ripe. It's just about ripe. It's kind of a, a very um, lime lime green, slightly yellowish um, outer skin, and the flesh is um, is quite citrusy. It's quite nice, quite sharp and refreshing. It's kind of that grapefruit kind of citrus um, flavour. They've got some segments of orange. Um, when I say orange, I probably mean tangerine or clementine or um, mandarin. I'm not quite sure, but it's nice. I did also buy uh, guava, but that's definitely not ripe yet. So I didn't, I didn't want to um, to waste the opportunity to have that and enjoy it. So that's gonna that's gonna stay ripening up a little bit um, because it was uh, it was pretty firm. I'd only had a very faint scent, but I'm I'm led to believe that it needs to be a lot more fragrant uh, before it's it's ripe and ready to eat. So those are things I'll be munching on. I might just pop a little orange segment in while we're while we're doing that. I suppose another thing to mention is that um, last last week I streamed this game, and uh, uh, I did use some uh, Mozart music as backing uh, from time to time. Unfortunately, uh, Twitch and YouTube. Uh, uh, found some copyright problems with that, so um, I yeah we 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 just we're not going to be using any any music this time. Just the sound of me eating. So let's let's read. So we're currently we sort of travelling geographically. So sorry, I can't keep this up. <laughs> the music is too much. Let me uh, let me turn that down for me. Hopefully that's alright for you. There we go. Okay, we're um, traversing a map. So I can show you that actually. Let's go back to the first section that we did, the sun. Um, so this is the map. Uh, so as we um, solve new sections of the puzzle. We get new sections of this map uncovered, and that the little ones that are new to us are come appear as these little stars. So we click on them, then it reveals uh, the um, uh, how that map section looks. So there, that was the archway presumably, and that was the maze um, that we solved. And then this, these were the pyramids. Um, although they may not appear as they actually appear. And what we need to do ultimately with this puzzle is assemble all these into a map where the path um, flows from the first of these locations through to the last, which is at the end of section 5 on the menu, um, in order, in the correct order. Um, but not all locations will look um, as they might appear. Um, that's why we've been taking some copious notes. You'll see those in the corner of the screen here. Um, we've got some copious notes here. So we last did the world, which was a word search, which um, um, I enjoyed, but got a, got a bit hairy there when I couldn't see uh, couldn't see uh, various countries such as Italy. So let's um, return to the scroll, and then we'll go back to. Um, so yeah, so all we'd done last time is we we solved three puzzles, uh, which I think was pretty good going to be honest. Uh, so we did the Wheel of Fortune, that unlocked the archway, and once we'd completed the archway, that unlocked the pyramids. Um, so then, oh, I guess we're... Yeah, so that didn't unlock anything new on that section, did it? Interesting. Uh, so we need to go to the Maze of Hedges next. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna pause... I'm gonna pause Wagner for a minute. Okay, here we go.
you follow the cobblestone road. So uh, we're the, we're playing the fool, um, so to speak. He followed the cobblestone road and discovered that it ended at the entrance to a maze of tall hedges. I would not go in there if I were you, warned a woman, tending to a garden of nine star-shaped flowers. Nine star-shaped flowers. No one has ever found their way out. Well, the fool pondered, since you are not me, then it must mean that I should go in there. Since you are not me? No one has... Oh. He just bit... I'm not sure that follows. He just spit into the maze and very quickly found his way to the exit. Oh, okay. So I think that's... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh, so it must have backfilled the maze of hedges after we'd done the world. I see. Well, let's have a look at the maze of hedges then. So we click on the question mark to see what the puzzle is. Uh, beware the wandering winds, a voice wailed. Oh, it's another maze. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so we need to get to there, presumably. Uh, so we'd solved a maze before. You usually have to click on wandering winds, the fool wondered. I cannot even feel a breeze. So I suspect when we get into the open, we will be blown away. The last maze had um, surprise doors, so it looked like it was going to be a... Oh no, this one kind of has surprise. Yes, yeah, so this is a maze where most of the maze is um, is not filled in. Whoa, okay. There's the wind. Uh, well, that was good. This is the kind of maze where... Uh, okay, it's got like teleporters. That's fine. This is a maze where half the maze isn't filled in until you get there. And it's also got lots of teleporters. Um, so basically... What I did last time was I uh, found a um, just started going the um, the least optimal way, and that tended to be the way to to get where you were going. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> this is pretty bonkers, isn't it? I enjoy it. All right, we're back down here, so let's go. So it shows you where the teleport thing is. This is fun. Um, it shows you where the teleport teleporter is that um, it initially takes you up. But it doesn't show you where <laughs> uh, where you'll be teleported to, necessarily. You'd <laughs> you have to work that out for yourself. Alright, I feel like we're doing, we're doing good work here. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, eventually we will just uncover all the teleporters, right? So that's good. <laughs> There's so many of them. Okay. Right. So there's... okay. It's one there as well. You sure? Why not? There's one there. Okay. So you can't get past that way. That's fine. But can I go this way? Can I go down and then across and up? No, I can't go up. That's fine. Um, I can go back in here, right? So, how is everyone out there? I hope you're well. Um, while I'm dodging around this maze, please feel free to uh, to pop in and say hello. Perhaps share uh, share brunch experiences you have had. Oh, come on. One thing. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like I know a lot more about this than maze now. You know what? You know what would help this situation? Okay, let's come out here. So I can go down here, and down here, and around here, and around here, and up, up, 
Can I go this way and down? I'm not. No? How did I bypass all this before? I don't know. I definitely came. Hang on, I'm pretty sure I came all the way up there before, didn't I? Or did I go around the edge? Maybe right around the edge. Um, what if I get to go there? Oh, that's pretty handy. I wonder if it's randomised or whether. Okay. How did I not find that before? Okay, this is fine. So we can definitely come this way, right? And then. Oh, okay. So I can't. Oh, no, I can go this way. That's fine. Uh, so I need to go this way. Right. 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 Oh. Um, so I can't get. That square will take to the. That square to the. So I can't get around that way. I need to go around the top here. Right, we're we'll going the top here. I'm sure there'll be no nasty surprise. Uh, there'll be some nasty surprises. Okay, let's go back down here. We might need to even use one of these teleporters. I oh, know we can get back to the center. Let's get back to the center of the screen. This way? No. I don't know if we can do that. I don't think we can do that. Where does that take us? Well, that's a good place to be. Let's go up the edge. Let's not come here. Let's go around here. No. Can we go around here? What if we go in there? No. Oh, that's a ping pong effect. Interesting. What if we go there? No. Go there. Yes. Okay. Around the. Oh, that's one of the edge. Of course, there is. Yeah, brilliant. So, okay, not that way. No. All right. Well, we're making some kind of progress. So, uh, can we remember where the teleporters went? Did that one? Oh, did this one? No. I think it might be randomised. You know. Alright, so this should get us through to here, right? Are there any spaces? Well, so I think we can go around here, right? Oh, there's one there, because there is. We'll try one of these other slots if we can. Um, next time we get there, it's going to take a little sip of water. It's interesting how many um, uh, new bits of map you don't realise you were missing until you, uh, you uncover them. Like that. Oh, that's good. Okay, can we then get to this bit? This bit? Okay, I feel like we've made most of this work right oh there was one there okay round these through this not through that one through that one that's got to work surely okay um, how do I get where I need to go only by teleporter I think try oh 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 that was kind of good but then kind of bad oh there's one there as well where's that one take me over there cool um right yeah i think they're I'm pretty sure they're randomized ping pong yeah. Alright. Um. Just trying to get to the back to the, the segment where I want to be now. Well speaking of segment.
So I um I wanted to stream the this game again. So I had a really good time um, last stream. Um, I think this is. I, I don't know if anybody else has a similar experience, but I um, I tend to find with some games, some games I just in, enjoy as they are as, as I am uh, now. But I think when I find some games, I think the um, the twelve year old me um, loves this game. Uh, oh, what am I finding here? Something not helpful, probably. Can I go around here? Can I go around? No, I can't go around. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, so it's definitely one of those games that appeals to... I don't know, I feel like the younger me would, would um, absolutely spend hours playing this game and, and really enjoy it. Um, and the older me is doing that too. Alright, I can get around here, right? And this part is safe. Okay, we're most of the way here. Let's see if we fall into the trap. So we can come all the way around here, right? And I know not to go there. Oh, there's one, there's one, of course there is. Okay, this is good, and this is good because so I know the way around here. We must be near. We must be near the success. Oh, have we done it? Yes, fabulous. Okay, time for a celebratory uh, munch of mango. Um, while we, uh, I guess, I should write down some stuff. So I'll eat with one hand, type with the other, um, and probably mute myself for a second. I'll mute myself for a second. There we go. So I've written down the nine star-shaped flowers because I feel like that is probably our clue to what this square looks like on the map. I guess we can try and check that, can't we? Uh, if we have a look here. So this... No, it just has a maze on it, um, with X on it, which is interesting. Um, I guess the square unlocked isn't necessarily the square that corresponds to the location. So the ones we've unlocked Might not be correct. Not so. This is definitely a puzzle element that I'm not quite certain on. But there's these tiny little writing as well on some of them, which I don't quite follow. Um, and yeah, so that is kind of just the mirror. Well, it's not quite. It's not exactly the mirror. It's um, it looks very similar to that, but it is different. And I can't see the path in that one at all. I can see it come into the uh, the number nine there in Roman numerals on this one. Uh, I didn't mention, but what we can do is we can swap the locations of these uh, these map segments by by clicking on one and click on another, and they'll exchange places. Okay, so we've uh, we're doing really well. We did the maze of hedges. The maze of thorns doesn't have a puzzle. Okay, well let's read this. I would not go in there if I were you, warned an old man, tending to a garden of ten star-shaped flowers. No one has ever found their way out. Oh, just numbers nine and ten. Yeah, that's what it is. But I have just done so. Oh, but I have just done so from the other side, the fool boasted. That cannot be, the old man snorted. For if you had, one of the land's lost treasures would be found. Not wishing to argue the point, the fool continued onwards. Oh, so we're looking for... The meta puzzle is the map, but also the names of 14 treasures. 
Um, I'm not quite sure how we implement like that as a solution. Uh, that hasn't come to light yet. Um, but it's intriguing. It's an intriguing prospect for sure. So. Um, Okay, so if we if we traverse the maze, one of the land's lost treasures would be found. So not quite sure what that means in context. I think some of the puzzles, if we go back, you can have a look at the yeah, you can replay the puzzle again, um, but it doesn't show us the finished state. I don't think it looked uh, like it was telling us anything. Before. Oh, you know what? We should probably save, shouldn't we, in case anything goes awry. Let's save. There we go. So that's the maze of thorns. So what's our next? We haven't filled anything back in there. We need, we've done the world. And that the clue we had there was seemed to be mostly the uh, the word yes um, in such emboldened uh, type as as it appears there. Um, I don't know if that has any great significance or not. Um, I guess we will find out eventually. So the next one would be strength, right? Okay, let's head to strength. Okay, so. Disheartened, the fool wandered toward a small cave in the side of a sloping hill. As he peered into the darkness, a fierce lion leapt out of the shadows and pinned him to the ground. Stop, my pet, a voice commanded, and out stepped a beautiful woman in a white silk robe. I am strength. Why have you come here? As she petted the lion, the fool eagerly stated the purpose of his errand. Ah, but such a task would take an era, the woman advised. Then you can help you cannot help me, the fool replied sadly. But I have, insisted Strength. It is you who do not listen very well. Okay. Uh, I've misspelled strength there. So era. Uh, let's put that in bold. I think there's a puzzle. There's a puzzle. I wonder what this is gonna be. Should we do a puzzle? Anybody fancy a puzzle? Yeah, go on then. Oh! Is it a sl like a sliding tile thing? Let's have a look at the, the thing. To solve this puzzle, rearrange the pieces to form a complete picture. To do this, click and drag the mouse to select one or more pieces. Once the selection is made, release the mouse button. Then move the mouse to a new area and single click. The two sets, oh yeah, so it's click and click. And click. All right, can I, um, so there's lots of um, stylized Eyes. Um, there's also an image of the fool and another person. I don't know if it's necessarily the fool, but if I do like that one and that one, they obviously go together. And then if I were to put, oh, there's the sun, isn't there? So let's swap those around so I can see that the sun's there. There's a bit. There is a bindle there, um, so it might be the fool. Uh, Hmm. Oh, this definitely goes there in respect to um, what's happening. Okay, and it's got oh, uh, it's got the start of a pyramid on it as well. Interesting. Um, yeah, so it's kind of half frames on things as well, which is interesting. That oh no, I don't want to do that. Um, if we go that 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 looks like it fits. Uh, so this is a small pyramid. Um, that looks like a small apex, and then um, I know we we need a little bit of a yeah we do. Well, I suss on a a segment of orange. See the other. 
Oh, you know what? I don't think that is the correct apex. Apologies. I think it goes a little too far. So I'm not quite sure. What's the. Oh, that might be the top of the screen. In all fairness, might not it? Okay, so we've got. Is this. That's bottom square there, but. And that's. Ah, uh, okay. No, that's fine. So there's this here, and then this here. I think that corresponds pretty well. Um, oh, this should go below that, right? And there's this fence thing. I think I should go... Oh, it doesn't quite line up with that. Interesting. Um, I mean, this... Does that match up with that? Because, no, I think that should go... Oh, hold on. That should go there, actually. In respect to those two. And then this... No, it's not there. Um... Oh, this is the top of a tree! That's the top of a tree. And then the top of the tree has an eye above it. No, that's not quite right. Um, that? That looks like that fits there. Ooh, an intriguing tile swapping puzzle. That's an eye. Um, there's some more legs here. That doesn't look quite right. Um, oh, so that's not the right one. The, we need some legs, right, for the person? There you go. So that's the right one. And then that's the base of a pillar. Like that. There you go. So that's the respective positions of those things. Um... Ah, and there's a... An eyeball under there? I think? No, not that. Um... Like that. Except there's a... Oh, but that's a match. Okay. This is intriguing, isn't it? So, and that one doesn't work because it's got a little bit of something in the bottom left corner where perhaps it oughtn't. Um, there's this thing here and there's an E next to a tree trunk, which doesn't make an awful lot of sense. The tree trunk might be on an edge. And this is supposed to be the only letter as well, which is interesting. So the tree, the tree isn't not in the right place. That seems to be quite evident. Um, there's a bit of fence here. I don't know if that goes anywhere in particular. It doesn't look like it does, actually. So where's the top of this person's head? Is that the top of the person's head? Yeah, it could be. Oh, and this is a that makes this a bigger pyramid, which makes more sense because then that could go there. And where was the thing with the little the square with the little portion of pyramid with the sun? There, that could go there, that could go there. So we're getting most of this image to work now, I think. Uh, we need another bit of slope here with mostly white underneath it. Um, I don't know if I can see that right now. Is it that? Yes, yeah, that. Okay. And then there's an eyeball next to that, which is interesting. So it could be that, sorry, that, that. 
Um, so this needs to have a little tiny, tiny bit of pyramid on it. Um, is what I'm looking for. This has a tiny bit of pyramid on it. And then this is a bit of eye. And then this is another bit of eye. And then this bit is not correct. So we can uh, change it with that one. There you go. And then this has a bit of bindle on it. So how how would we find a bit of bindle? That's what I'm thinking. Where? Oh, this is a bit of bindle, right? And then this is a tree trunk, but the that doesn't really align with that, so I'll ignore that for now. And we need a bit more eye here. No, not that bit. Uh, this bit. Correct. Right, so that gets me some... Oh, some white here. With some... Oh, I'm not sure if that does fit, because it cuts off that at a... Um... Oh, curious. Um, so what would go underneath this? Then? Something just with something like that? Oh, that could work, because those are pillars instead of trees. And there's an E hiding there, that would work. And then there's just uh, this bit of eyeball below it. That works. Um, what goes above any of this, I don't know. But I feel like we're, we're seeing seeing more of the picture, for sure. Um, all right, next up. Um, I'm taking some water. Okay, so I'm thinking this is part of the tree. Where the tree goes, I don't know. It doesn't seem to correspond to this picture necessarily. Um, and is there a like a cap for this picture, or does it just start at an edge somewhere? And is there anything? Oh no, hang on. There's this. That works. So I can. Uh, like that over there, over there. Oh no, but the sun needs to go there, sorry. Uh, let's pop them over there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, uh, there is going to be something here, and it's going to be mostly white. With just a little bit of something. It could be that something, couldn't it? And then one above that is going to be that. There we go. And then that's got an eye next door to it like that. Um, so I think all this is probably going to have to shift along. I'm not sure where this pyramid comes in. Or this fence, to be honest. Or the fence could go there. Interesting. This could be the far right edge of the picture, possibly. Um, yeah, if it were... Should we try it? Let's try it. So we can do move the rows along. Columns, sorry. Move the columns along. Um, and then we'll see if we can fill out a column on the left there. There we go. So I'd like the music stopped. Oh no, we're, we're doing fine. I'll just uh, pump it up a little bit. There we go. Um, right, so that we think is there. That is there? Yeah. So tree can potentially go... Sorry, tree can potentially go there. The top of tree can potentially go there. That matches. Um, and then that's like that. Yeah, so this is all making sense. I think. Um, but I think this might be the top of the picture, and then I think we might need to do the pyramid below. That looks like it is the case. So um, I think we've nearly done it. We got there. So I feel I feel very lucky actually that I have been able to get a handle on all the puzzles so far. I wasn't really sure um, how easy or difficult I might find this game um, 
just knowing about it by reputation only and not having played it before. But I feel like it's going well. I feel like it's um, uh, stuff I can I can reason with, which I uh, I'm enjoying. Uh, we need the where's the bit with the moon? There it is. Lovely. This bit needs to go in there, obviously. And then that bit needs to go in there. Does it? Does it need to go in there? There we go. We did it. Yay! Look at that. Could we ask to continue? What does it mean? I wonder. I can always go back and uh, capture the. Oh no, that music's really loud. Okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, classical music. Sort of changing volume all the time. Okay, here we go. Great, I'm not sure what we learned from that necessarily, but that's fine. Let me go here and type the page of wands. Oh, wands. I mean, that'd be something different. Okay, let's unbold it. Let's re underline it. Okay, here we are. So I will um, pause for a sec to munch a little more food. Please feel free to do the same. Wandering away, the fool returned to the task of inspecting the sun's parchment, but sadly he could not make any sense out of it. Further along, he met a page who stood in the middle of the road, admiring his polished wooden walking stick. That is indeed a fine star, the fool complimented, yet I am lost and I desire assistance. Do you know how to read a map? Fear not, answered the page, not taking his eyes off the walking stick. I am also lost and I seek the pyramids. The pyramids, where they are to the south, the fool pointed out. See, the middle one is inscribed with the letter E. Well, so it is, the page realised, dashing off in that direction. Naturally, this did not help the fool at all. Interesting. So we did, I think we did talk about that when we got to the pyramids. But the world, yeah, on the map has stone, bridge and pond. Oh. Two ones, pyramids have letter E. <laughs> That's a pound sign. Right, and we don't need to be underlined for that. So yeah, I don't know how that I don't know how that helps us particularly. Um but we look at the map? I'm tempted. Oh, oh, the page of ones was a backfill. Interesting. Okay. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, that's got pyramids with an S on it. There are pyramids there with just the number five on it. Interesting. Well, I think I can work out the main exits now. I know about those. Um, and obviously the sun is where you start off. Um, Alright, I, I kind of don't want to do it until we've got like a few in a row. Like the first three in a row or something. But let's go for the page of once. So what what is the puzzle going to be here? And it bothers me that I've highlighted that text. There we go. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm not quite sure what this is. There's a a Don Quixote type figure on horseback there. Solve this puzzle. Find the hidden letters below and enter them in the blank boxes. To select the box, click it with the mouse and press return to advance and backspace to reverse. Find the hidden letters below. Do I type? Oh, I can type. Okay. I um, I thought this might be an entirely uh, pointy clicky type thing. Of God. Just fun. How do I? Do I get any more clues than that? So we've got pyramids, we've got, I presume this is the page of wands, we turn to the scroll there, um, I'm not quite sure what this puzzle requires of us, I just remembered what I put in, interesting, so, okay so the highlighted letter is, um, is inverted black and white so there was no significance to that particularly um, I guess there are a limited number of two letter words really aren't there so it looks like we need to make a frames of some kind as you like. Um, I guess if we just type the right thing in, then it will tell us. Oh, I might just come back to that one because I, I don't feel like I've got much to go on at the moment. Um, hmm, okay, let's go to the next one that's available, which is going to be the. Is Temperance? Temperance. Okay. Okay. The fool continued on his way and came to a stone bridge that crossed a crystal clear pond. Floating over the water was an angel who held a jeweled chalice. I am Temperance. Why have you come to this place? Again, the fool stated the purpose of his errand. All things in moderation, the angel commented. You are too eager and have missed much already. You must take a sip of my mystical waters. Now there's an invitation you don't get every day. Thank you, but I am not thirsty, he answered courteously. Can you tell me anything else? A sip is all you need, spoke Temperance somberly. The fool found it rather odd that the three who had offered their advice so freely had nothing of importance to tell him. Um, so that's... I'm not sure who that is. Uh, the world? Strength and temperance? Yes, I guess so, because they said yes, era and sip. Which might be a... Um, might be an anagram? I don't know. Yes, sip an era. There's not a great variety of letters in there, is there? Hmm. Um, Alright, well, let's see what. There's a puzzle attendant, so let's see what the puzzle is. Oh, fifth anniversary. This puzzle is jumbled. To solve it, rearrange all the jumbled letters into their correct positions. Oh. Okay, this is going to keep... Okay, so these are the materials for um, celebrating wedding anniversaries. And they're anagrams. Well, this is going to be bronze, isn't it? So I think of a material, which is a good clue. And then this is paper, obviously. 
Um, oh, and he'll make some kind of acrostic, maybe? 25th anniversary. Oh, that doesn't immediately jump to mind. Um, what's a material that's got those letters in? Silver. There you go. Silver. Um, third anniversary. Oh. That's going to be a fairly um, mundane material, I think. Earth. Earthal. Earthal. Um, what is it? I mean, I could look it up, but that'd be cheating, wouldn't it? Would it be cheating? Is it? Is it cheating to research for a puzzle game that requires knowledge? Maybe. Um, leather has those letters, I believe. Leather. Ooh, leather anniversary. Um, this one. Is it an acrostic? I don't know. Seventeenth anniversary. Right, why is all these things in? Um. Quest. Quest real. Um. Question. Not sure, you know. Um, all right, so material with a long name that you might give someone for their seventeenth anniversary. So it's it's getting up there, isn't it? But it might be a bit weird, as it's an odd number. Um, and there's a lot of numbers to have to try and find materials for. Um, what's going to... A Q is going to be something, isn't it? So it's going to be... What if you end with Q? Rustique. What is Rustique? I suppose if you just do it by word knowledge, you would learn about anniversary gifts. So that's that's educational. Um, it's got a weird, weird. It's got lots of vowels. Two U's. What if it ended with stir? What if it's a stir kind of word? Then there's... A, oh. A lot of weird stuff to fit in. Before then, so I don't think it is. Um, if anybody in chat watching along would... Uh, would have a clue, then please do let me know. I think now might be a good time to have a little think break um, and make myself a cup of tea. So I will be right back. I will leave you in the capable hands of some of some of my playlist of classical composers, um, and uh, I will just put a little "be right back" message in for both chats because they'll definitely appear for. Um, Twitch on screen, but it shouldn't appear 
Yeah, I don't know what YouTube's doing. Right, I'll be back in uh, a few minutes and we'll see if we can work this out together.
Hello folks, I'm back. I've now got a nice cup of turmeric tea. Um, and I, a word just occurred to me for a uh, semi-precious stone that one might give as a, an anniversary gift. I just need to remember how to spell it. Turquoise, there we go. Whoa, red urn! Okay. Red urn. <laughs> okay, and that leads into the next thing. Okay. Um, uh, the canopy. Uh, not bold, please. Red. Oh, not underlined, please. There we go. Um, I think the music is a little bit quiet, so let me bump that up a little bit. There we go. Might hear a bit more now. Red urn. Okay, so let's read this, I suppose. Beyond the pyramids. Oh, so have we jumped back again? We have. Interesting. Beyond the pyramids stood a quaint peasant village, and here the fool met a jubilant party of townsfolk gathered in the street. In the middle of the crowd was a beautiful wedding canopy attached to four oaken staffs, and underneath a man was searching through the presents frantically. Red urn! My red urn! Have you seen it? He asked the perplexed fool. A red urn? He puzzled. Is not a red a gaudy colour for an urn? It is not an urn for a funeral? It is our custom at such affairs. At such an affair, the man sniffed. There's to be a wedding between our kidnings, and everything must be just so. Now, have you seen it? The fool assured the man that he had not, and went on his way. But you know what? There's a puzzle to be solved here. So let's, let's puzzle solve. Oh, the put is another word search. Cool. I mean, I can already see rhubarb. The fool paused to admire the fresh vegetables at a nearby shop. How many of them? 23. Oh, <laughs> the, the music got very dramatic. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down on my headphones too. Beautiful. Let's be a, a tense background. All right, so we need to find twenty-three vegetables. Rhubarb vegetable, I guess it is. Fab. Right, well, we've done this kind of thing before, so be well away. Um, I can see parsnip and tomato. Celery. Crawl. Cluel. Okay. Um The docks. Radish. That was pretty radish. Um, flower. Cauliflower. Squash. Q. Cumber. Plant. Eggplant. Okay. Oh, I went a bit too far. Eggplant. Eggplant. You can't go backwards, by the way. You can only select from first to last. Sacked of spuds. Um, Viscery. Only 15 to go. We're doing all right, aren't we? I think. Oh, that's a... This has gone quiet again, so let me pump the volume up. There we go. That should, that should be something. Um, uh... What? What are we looking for? We're looking for carrot. We're looking for... Um, well, we haven't had anything over here. A choke. An artichoke. Oh, I went with a strain there. Artichoke. We're looking for a mule. A monion. Onion. An onion. 
That was hard to spot. There's a weird uh, spacing between those letters. Because the um, O is very narrow, like a zero. Okay. Well, you know, I admire Cliff Johnson for having to come up with two separate uh, complex word searches uh, for the game. I mean, there might be more. There might be even more. So good on you, Cliff. Thank you. Leak. Um, we're going to do a asparagus. There you go. Um, and ten to go. That's good. Uh, um, next, we're going to want to scallion. Select scallion there. Um, scallion is just a type of onion. Is that correct? I feel like that's correct, but I'll let you have it. Um, uh, what's, what's just something going on around here? Maybe. There definitely will be something in this big watch here of, of letters. There's parsley. Um, there's. There's no clue or we are uh, broccoli? Is that a broccoli? That's, hang on. That looks like it's broccoli. I don't know if you if you feel a sense of urgency, uh, I'm not sure why. Um okay. Seven to go. This is good. This is where it starts getting tougher. I found beans. Just beans, you know? Just beans. Okay, I'm going to uh, munch while thinking. So I might, might just might just drop the bomb down a little bit. Good news, I enjoyed that bit of mango, um, but I didn't see any more words. That's the bad news. That's the bad news. Um, tr true? Uh, I feel like that's going to lead somewhere. Um, I think there's got to be something vertical here, isn't there? Um, you to see lentil iceberg yes there's no, there aren't going to be any that run uh, directly parallel to each other as in, in adjacent rows and columns um, so there won't be anything in there but there will be something going across possibly um, 
Right, three to go. That was the um, that was the that was the most difficult point last time, wasn't it? Potato. We did it. We found potato. All right. I feel like there's there's probably more to be mined around here. Sick the brook. Cabbage, cabbage. Okay, one to go. Okay, this has gone a little bit easier than last time, which is nice. Okay, so what do we, what, what do we feel? What do we feel about this? Do we feel like there might be one around here somewhere? Not in there though. Perhaps not. Um, no zucchinis hiding anywhere. Well, there could be something in here, couldn't there? A turn? Ip. Turn Ip. Turn Ip. Yes! You know what this calls for, don't you? Yes, there we go. Oh my goodness, it's bad yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks, handle. We need I've, I've got a handle on this. Um, we need to write about the fighting the fighting boys. That's not a thing, is it? Where's the fighting boys? Oh, back there. Okay. I don't remember that in the in the tarot deck. Right. So this is bad yam. So I d I'm not quite sure. So is each one of these a an anagram? Oh no, that was I want to underline that one and then embolden that one and that one. So bad, yeah. All right. Well, let's read it in context. There is a puzzle for this one as well. Nearby, a group of five boys were fighting with slender hickory staffs. Bad yam, bad yam. They shrieked back and forth. Why are you fighting over something of so little value? The fool wondered. He sold us a crate of bad yams. One cried out, and we want our money back. But you left them in the sun. Another yelled back. I will not reimburse you for your stupidity. Not wishing to get involved, the four made his way past the crowd. Okay, well, bad yam. Uh, I guess we'll see what this puzzle is. Oh, okay. Uh, let's find the instructions. Press all the buttons in the correct order to reveal two words. Three, four, five. Click mouse to reset puzzle. Bad yam. Okay, so each one will reveal a letter. Oh, that revealed two letters. New. Oh, and then it. Hang on, let me just write this down on a piece of paper in front of me. So I end up with the letters G U W E and N M this time. Do I get something? different or do I get the same N U W G you get the same okay you get the same um, quantity of the same letters but how they appear is different. So five puts a dub five is a W after right and two is an N before. I need to make two words, is it? A three is a G before. One. What did that do? Is that
move the G swapped the first and the last. I think. I can I yeah. I think that's what happened. And then the fourth one uh four adds an E at the beginning and a U at the end. Intriguing. Um let me hang on, let me dig up some suitable background music for this uh for this particular venture. I think we need to we need something. Here we go. There we go, lovely. Alright, so I guess the first order of business would probably be to work out what two words we want uh to have. And then, how do we get that to happen? So, what can we make with G U W E N N and N? A new, if it was new, new gun. I mean, it could be. I don't know if that's what we're. <laughs> to reveal two words. Okay. Um, sure. I mean, that's. Or it could be GNU. We love a GNU. GNU when? <laughs> I mean, these are all good slogans. Um, some of them more disturbing than others. Uh, it's definitely two and two, isn't it? Because of how the letters separate themselves when you um, select them. So. Um. I mean, I can't think of any other words than new gun, so. So, what to spell by? I'll start off with a W. So, five can't be correct. What I wrote down. Can't be correct there, because it puts an N before it. So, two. Oh, okay. So, both five and two put an N before. Okay, so I've got that wrong somehow. And then three is a G before. Yeah, that's right. And then if I'm correct, then one swaps the first and last letters. So it'd be dub yeah. And then four adds an E at the beginning and a U at the end. Which would work actually. If you want to do a new gun. So um, what if I do that first? What if I do. Oh no, but I've got the G. Oh, uh, can I start over? Beginning it. Okay. If I put a G. Um, hang on, if I do a M there, and then a G, oh no, hang on, if I try again, no N, if I do the G, which is 3, and then I do the the one that swaps, which is one, and then I do um, add four, and then new ah oh hmm. so I do need a hmm, close. Okay, so. Because there's nothing to add an N at the end, so I need to use that before a swap. So... Um, 
that would mean um, that I... But how do I get a G after as well? Oh my goodness. What if I do the um, four first? And then add a G? And then the U. And then add an N? We'll do the swap. And then. So I need to. In theory, I need to end up with E W G U N, don't I? Before I put uh, the last N at the um, beginning. So if I work backwards from that, so if I like strike off one of the possibilities, so I'm just working with say two, three, one, two, three, and four here, and I want to get in a position where there is um, an N at the Front. So before that, I want. Yeah, I can probably work backwards, can't I? Um, and then an E at the end. And then W, G, U. So how would that work? Um, N, W, G, U, E. How do I get to that? Um, without using the swap. That means I can only do the add an E at the beginning. you at the end. That wouldn't work, would it? Hmm. Definitely munching time. Okay, so I don't know if I, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it how I think I want to do it. Um, it's a G. It's G it goes before. I can only go before. Let's do that first and see what happens. I do a swap. Yeah, it's getting the end at the end that doesn't work. So I wonder if I've got the right words. None. None. Q. G. No, it's not. I can't think of any other words that would come out of that. As in two complete words. Hmm. Um, so f that's good. That's what we want. But then, how do I get the thing at the end? If 
question. What if I do that uh the end first? And then um So the, hang on, the E and the, no, let's start again. The E and the U are in the right place. So let's do that first. Uh, they're in the right order. Um, and then the two. Um, there. And then three is G before. So if I were to swap those around, the that wouldn't be great. Um, that's the old music doing. Oh, we got to the end of the play. Oh my goodness, we need more music. We need we need something relaxing. Oh, okay. Now I can solve. The UNGN. Oh, now that separated into two words. Uh, one of, sorry, I mean it was separated into two words, but that was a two and a, a four and a two. So could it be. Oh, I don't think I can make a two letter word out of this, can I? I don't think I can. Interesting. Um. Let's do them at random. That was a four and a two, wasn't it? Two letter words can be spelled. Un, new, these are uh, probably in their own rights words. G E, um, we, we is a word. What does that leave for the other word? I said two words, I didn't say a phrase, so it doesn't have to make sense, I suppose. Oh, but that leaves two N's, a U and a G, which isn't a word. I don't think. Well, that doesn't make sense. I feel like new gun is the, the only two words like new new gun are the only two words that I can get out of it at the moment. But um, how do we how do we get there? Is there only swap once? What if I get the end before and then do the swap? But then the G will be in the wrong place. Oh, do they have to? They could be gun new, right? So the G going. Oh, but then the E and the U would have to swap. There'd still be an N in the wrong place. Oh, rats. Hmm. 
So. Swap. New Nug. New. Yeah, so the, the word differentiation is uh, odd and interesting. Right, so let's get the G in. And then an N in? Get the G in. Get the uh, E and U in, and then the N in, and then do a swap. That'd be U E G. No, that would work. Um, You again. You again. Hmm. You know what, I might take a break from this one for a sec. We kind of know what we're doing, but we haven't quite got there. So, where, where have we been? So the page of ones was one that was... Um, let's return to that. Um, and I'll remind myself what that was like. Oh yeah, so we just had to... To solve this puzzle, find the hidden letters below find the hidden letters below and enter them into the blank boxes so that suggests that there might be things hidden in the picture maybe hidden letters below and enter them into the blank boxes um, I mean a uh, pyramids look like A's kind of Well, this is the name of things, like a sword, a bendy sword. Uh, um, o could be the sun. I'm not quite sure what this this one's aiming for, really. Uh, it's kind of an M shape there, I guess. That's kind of an X. That's kind of a... Well, it's not really anything, is it? Lesser terms. Um, but that's just kind of that's just kind of some vague guesswork, isn't it? And in what order would you do them? Because I don't know how how would you read the picture if they were hidden ones there. All right. So at the moment we are an impasse with the page of ones and the fighting boys. So let's try the hanged man. Okay, another, another key word. Okay. So, let's um, pop, the music, pop the music on pause for a minute. Um, let's write the hanged man down here. And we'll pop a uh, top in there, because we can see that's going to be a, a clue to something. Okay. Shrugging his shoulders, he crossed the bridge and discovered a man hanging upside down from a tree by one foot. Does that not hurt? The fool wondered. I am a hanged man, said the hanging man. That is most obvious, the fool retorted. What is obvious to some is not obvious to all, said the upside down man. Consider that the top is at the bottom of the upper half. What? But the fool was weary of such confusing talk and did not wish to consider this at all. The top is at the bottom of the upper half. Um, I, I'm not sure of the veracity of that, hanged man. What's your puzzle? Oh, it's another picture one. Okay. Well, we can we do one of these. We can do that. All right. Well, let's yeah. Let's uh. 
There's still a bit of puzzle moving around. We can probably do that. Okay, so we've got a few bits uh, that look a bit more uh, suitable here. There's a sun and a barcode, which is nice. There's a castle here, which uh, I guess those bits go together. There's some kind of shadow arrangement going on here. Those bits seem to go together. Um, I think there might need to be you know, another bit. In. Oh, that point is good. That bit point is no. Sorry. Not that. Um, this point is going there, I think. And then this might go there. No. Get up there. Is, that, is that a little fish? Might be a little fish. Oh, this leg is what I want to do in there. Brilliant. So that. Oh, well, it seems to fit with that. This doesn't necessarily go next to that, which is fine. So let's move the. Oh, uh, where did I just put you? Oh, there. Let's put you there. And then you there. And then you there. You there. And then you there. Gives us a little bit of room, doesn't it? So I think there should be a little bit of toe uh, on one of these. Is that a little bit of toe? It's in the wrong place. Um, uh, oh, I see. You should be behind you. That makes sense. Um, so can we do a... Oh, this might be a bit confusing, won't it? Let's try and do a swap of body parts. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, there we go. So then your toe goes there, and then you go there, and then you go there. And then this is for you, and that's for you. And this is for you, that goes there. And that's also for you. There you go, there's a, the chalice shadow is there as well. Um, there should be a little bit of elbow somewhere. That's your forearm, right? Um, one with a little bit of elbow. Um, oh, that's probably elbow. And then that's a bindle, so that can be the falling bindle there. Um, like that. What's happening in this picture, fool? Okay, so I'm kind of just something to go between them that has the similar hatching on, like that. And there's this um, rider on horseback there. And they probably relate to the castle. Oh, it might even go there, you know, as part of the the picture, and that could be over there. 
I'm not sure about those white little pixels there. I'm not sure what's going on there. This looks like a word, doesn't it? Um, there could be an M there, and that probably goes there. Interesting. Um, yes, it looks like a, a coastal picture. There's something... That, I mean, that definitely doesn't go there, because that cuts off something quite abruptly. So... And that... That's the start of a texture. And that probably doesn't go there, either. So this, I mean, sorry, this probably goes there. Yes, because there's an edging frame around it. I should have uh, paid attention to that. Um, right, and these, oh, I should have paid attention, because these are the shadows, right? Of those guys running. So that goes there. Like that, and then this goes here, this goes here. Cool. Alright, we're um, now we're making progress. I don't think I've oh oops. I don't think I realised that um, in the last one of these um, that I could get some contextual clues from the edge as well. Um, I thought I probably thought that was just random. Now that coast looks like it makes sense. Looks like that goes there. Um, the sun, I'm not sure where that goes. The sea, this kind of looks like it should go here. like a hidden word in there, isn't there? Uh, which is sort of intriguing. Oh, of course, let's go. Right, so that's the part of that. That goes there. And then this goes here. And this goes here. It's clear. Yes, yeah, so this is like a running fish. So I'm not sure what this little bit of black where that's supposed to go. I think I've got these letters a little bit wrong. Oh, KD. KD. Kind of reflected in the water. KD. Let me write that down. Okay, um, let's work out what's going on with this fish. So I think. No, I think we've got the coast right. That looks okay. So it's just the, these parts aren't quite right. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. KD. I wonder what that means. Oh, okay. That's, that's a clue to the next the next thing. Well, we'll, we'll read this. He came to the shores of another great ocean and met a page who had held an engraved copper cup. Just as the fool was about to say hello. A tiny green fish jumped out of the cup and fell to the ground, wiggling its way back to the sea. Help me! The page screamed. My KD is getting away! The fool removed his pointed hat and, after a few tries, captured the slippery fish with it. within it. Here's your fish, he offered, but I did not see your KD. Ah, but they are one and the same, the page told him happily. Now I owe you a favour. Seek she who holds two swords. Shaking the water out of his hat, the fool departed. Well, that will not be an easy task, he reflected. A few people in these parts can carry even a single sword. Interesting. I'm still not really sure what to do with all these letters that we're picking up. Um, I don't think they necessarily all operate in the same way. Oh, right, well, 
Oh, the uh, the morning is well afternoon now here is um, getting on. Uh, so I think we can have a look at this one. This might be our last. Well, oh, we are we're still on section three, page of cups. All right, let's try the page of cups and see what happens. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, any clues? Puzzles jumbled to solve it. Rearrange all the jumbled letters into their correct positions. Okay. Um, I think this is going to be fish, isn't it? This looks like perch. That's going to test my fish knowledge, isn't it? This looks like a trout. This looks like an onion with a minnow, obviously. This looks like a dream. This, this looks like a... What could that be? I feel like it's got the word fish in it, so it probably ends with fish. Dog fish. Oh. But it's got an L in there. Um, so perhaps not. Or oh, nearly out of fruit. Just as well. Um, so it's not dog fish. It is a. Um... There might be two more as well, won't there? Although it would kind of, so the starred, sorry, the double boarded letters are probably going to make a two word clue again. So it would kind of make sense if, uh, if the S were either here or here. Oh, what a fool I am, it's a goldfish. There we are. Right, so yeah, it does make sense. So this has got to be a ship, so that's got to be, it's got to start with H, so it's a halibut. Okay. Oh, no ship! Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Further on the shore, a knight atop his grey horse stared off into the still waters. The ocean is calm, yet no ship approaches, he uttered gravely. But that is good, is it not? asked the fool, walking closer. No, the way I replied. The ones have promised to return our most treasured possession. I have not done so. The Queen must be told. I will wait here until sunset, but no longer. The fool promised to deliver the message. Oh, what message? The Knight of Cups is waiting. Rollers? We still in section 3? We are. Seems to be our most, um, our most progressive uh, part. So many puzzles. Uh, let's let's have a look at the night of cups because we've got a few. Points. We can uh, we can have a peek at it. Um, so night of cups. Um, night of cups is looking at. Um, night looking at sea. I don't know what else to say about that one. So, um, let's have a look. What kind of puzzle is this going to be? Oh! Oh, it's a cipher. Can we do a cipher? We can probably do a cipher, can't we? In a few minutes? Why not? 
All right, so we know what death now is. Let's see what the instructions say. The puzzle is in a secret code to solve it. Switch all the coded letters with the correct letters. To select a letter by clicking on it with the mouse, we'll press return to advance, uh, back to place to reverse, and then type a new letter from the keyboard. All occurrences in the active letter will be replaced with the new letter, and vice versa. Oh, nice. Right, so if I do. I'm going to write down some paper in front of me. For expediency's sake, I'm going to write the plan type on the notepad or screen. Okay, so I know that V is D. V is D. I know that E, uh, P is E. P is E. I know that T is A. I know that U is T. And that C is H. So we can go and do all those. So T, which is always selected here, is A. Of the list. You, I'm going to I thought it might get more confusing. Um, if I re substitute something that I didn't want to substitute, but let's cross that bridge when we come to it. V is D. P is in P's. P's are E's. C's are H's. Jolly good. Um, right, so next word now. So G equals K. Um, M equals N. Oh, the clue's been changed as well. <laughs> How funny! E equals E, and Q equals. That's strange. Um, Q equals L. Okay, so let's find a new G. There's a G there. Okay. And M is N. I've got that working, so that's good. And Q is an L, right? There we go, landed. Death null equals death null, so that's some proof that we're, we're doing it right, I suppose. Okay, so uh, this looks like it should be has landed. This looks like my ship. Oh, this is the message that we're going to take, right? My ship has landed. Oh, oh, oh no. So you'll do it in the right order as well. Because then it will, it will change itself. The ship has landed. So if I change that to Z, say. Oh no, so should we. No oh no, I'm getting it wrong. There should be no ship has landed. A pole. Sure. Alas, I do decide. Oh, we did it! Okay. I confused myself. It's 
very ecstatic. Okay, alas I do, he sighed. Your knight says that no ship has landed upon your shore. Alas I do? Could that be words we need to type in somewhere? I don't think it is. All the combinations right. There we go. Okay. Well let's let's leave it there. I think that's a good that's a good time to to outro, I think. Thank you very much for joining me. Anybody who's um, watched along during or after the fact. Um, very much appreciate your company. Um, I, I've enjoyed playing. We've got to do so many puzzles this time. Um, absolutely uh, uh, impressed by, by the progress that we've made so far. It's, um, it's been great. So I'm going to just sort out a couple of things here. Let's sort that out. There we go. Nice. Let's say goodbye. So I'm going to save my um, my text document there. Um, the next time if I stream to... I, I quite enjoyed how easy it seemed to be to stream to both channels. Um, so I'll try that again. I'll see if I can do anything better with the, sharing the, the chat. Um, because I can't see the YouTube chat on the... Um, on the stream at the moment, which is uh, not so helpful, um, but I think I think everything's got pretty well. I'm, I'm pleased, and we're um, let's just have a quick check. We're um, with lots of uh, we're lots of puzzle pieces through, aren't we? Shall we unveil some more? Let's do it. Lovely little castle with age there. There's a uh, something with a Y. There's something with a D, that's the fish one, isn't it? Uh, something with a T. Something with an IV. The four, maybe. And an urn. That looks like red urn, doesn't it? Lovely. And that'd probably go above that one. Just because of the, the matching pieces. Yeah, so maybe we can start putting some of the puzzle together next time. Um, I, at the moment, I don't know where I'm next going to be streaming. Um, I would like to continue doing some Sunday streams um, when I can, but I don't always know when I'm going to be available too far in advance. So um, look out for notifications on um, the community tab on YouTube. Um, it will also be on my Patreon as well, because I pretty much everything is a, is a public post there, and I will post um, if I know in advance that I'm going to stream. So you can check that out. Um, I don't. I think it's worth me setting up a Twitch schedule because uh, that's just not not happening at the moment. Um, but yeah, um, and you can follow me in all those places um, to to know what's going on. And if you're interested in more videos of, uh, of things I have uh, played, things I have done, um, you can check out the YouTube channel Cat Sequences uh, for more of that. Thank you very much for your company, and until next time, everybody, take care. Bye-bye.